Right, good afternoon and welcome back to another vlog here on the channel. Yes, we've come to Worthing for the afternoon and um, pretty much the first thing we thought we'd come and check out a pie and mash shop that's here. Um, yeah, it, it didn't actually open until three, but when we got there, the door was actually open to the place, but there was no one actually in there and it didn't look that good anyway. So uh, yeah, we've um, went to, I went on to Google and I put on TripAdvisor, best rated fish and chips in Worthing, and it's brought up this place, which is the um, the Chip Wick, and it's had over, well, it was over 700 likes and comments and reviews on TripAdvisor anyway, so uh, yeah. <laughs> so I've got, she's got the uh, cod and chips. It's actually two pieces of cod. Is it all right? It's okay. She said it's okay. <laughs> and I've gone with a, a chips and curry sauce. Right, however, um, they did sort of realise we were sat outside because we've got the dog with us and they brought out a bag of chips As a stuff. and a pot of curry sauce. People like to dip. And that's it, but yeah, so I've had to go back in and ask for a tray to put the chips and the curry sauce in. I then also went back in because they didn't get any napkins. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> so chips and curry sauce, uh, cod, regular chips, curry sauce, two bottles of um, generic pop. Generic? How generic. Because it's generic, because I said so. <laughs> and they're told it was £21.54. I haven't tried any of it yet. So, uh, yeah, it's not just this that we're doing here. Um, we're also probably going to walk down the promenade. Uh, have a look on the pier, see if, oh, the, <laughs> it is in a tray. Oh, you did. <laughs> I think it so. did. Yeah, it didn't feel like it. It didn't feel like it was in a tray. Oh, well, sorry for that, but yeah, chips. <laughs> oh, always check before you go back in and moan about something. Yeah, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> That's in my cup. Mmm, actually really nice. Yeah, so I got I got the tray anyway because the um, the chips came in a big bag as well, which is pretty cool. Well, so I'll probably yeah, I'll probably empty them into that like that. Put that in there, and I'll have a scooch scooch about. I'll have a. Do you want it all? No, I've got half of it. Yeah, half a fish. So yeah fish looks all right it's quite thin and it's cod i normally go for a haddock myself to be honest what is it oh uh, hot <laughs> oh it's very nice mm. oh, it's all right that, isn't it i like the curry sauce i thought you said you got gravy no i went for curry sauce i like trying different ones it looks more like a sort of Chinese chip shop style. It does Oh, it's got bits in it as well. It's got sultanas in it. Yeah, not many. It's not nice. Mmm, it's alright. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, give it a go. Oh, it's alright. It's alright the best. Mm. Is it the best though? I mean, at the end of the day, chips are chips, aren't they? No, they're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tilly's down there, she's got her food, so we've come prepared as well, so we get her like, fresh chicken and little biscuits for her. And a bottle of water, she's over there. <laughs> hey, they're actually very nice chips. Yeah, so um, they're all right actually. You, I don't think I don't think she was impressed. Oh, terrible! Yeah, I just I just had um, some more of the fish, and it was pretty tasteless to be honest. Some of the chips are quite dry, and you got a lot of the um, like the small well, scraggly bits. A, a different, you come at an all weird time. Yeah. What is nice though that they were able to sit outside. We're in like this little like a little shed. Uh, a hut, yeah, a hut. It's got like perspex windows and seating and decorations and stuff like that. But is it the best rated in Worthing? 
don't know, we haven't tried the others. Yeah, we haven't tried the others, so um, yeah. Um, we did see like a, a cafe that did an all day breakfast. We should, we probably should have gone there, boring. really. What are you woofing at? <laughs> but yeah, I didn't, I didn't eat it all, to be honest. And the curry sauce was like, like I said, it's more like a Chinese, fruity. yeah, like a fruity sort of style with raisins. Like, like the greeny yellow one. Yeah, the proper chip shop curry sauce is uh, much nicer. But yeah, it looks nice. It's well presented. Yeah. It looks clean. The girls the are out. Bowls. Yeah, dog bowls just down there, there, and the girls have been out cleaning the windows and stuff. And you can sit inside and stuff. So uh, yeah, like I said. I can't really comment on the, the rating of the place because we haven't been to any other chip shops here in Worthing but uh, it was alright, I, th I think some of the chips that I had were very nice it's, like I said it's well presented, it's clean, tasty it's what you want really isn't it? but yeah we'll go and have a walk around the seafront now there's not much of a beach here, it's like a pebble beach we've got a really nice um, pier that we can go and have a walk on the water looks stunning, it is very warm today, it's like 20 21 degrees, it's quite humid um, but it's very windy as well. I think we get the back end of the, the hurricanes that have been in the Atlantic for the past week or so. Uh, Hurricane Lee, that's literally over Canada right now and I think that's probably got to come over to us on Wednesday this week. Um, it's supposed to be really bad winds, like up to 50 mile an hour winds. So I'm not looking forward to that at work. Um, well yeah, I hope you enjoyed the Alton Towers vlog that's um that was an awesome day yesterday really really good really enjoyed that best and um, best day ever <laughs> it was awesome but yeah i'll see you in a bit when we uh, go for a walk yeah the uh the chips were all right i suppose but you get what you what you get with the chip shop really to be honest but uh yeah i've, I've yeah it i'm a massive fan of what with me tim at the moment and he does a lot of chip shop reviews and best rated fish and chip shops and stuff like that and um i don't know even for me as being a northerner i, I can't tell you tell the difference between good and bad chips I mean, a lot of the southern places don't really do chips that well <laughs> um compared to the, no you do, no i don't choose the bad places uh, <laughs> um i think one of my favorite fish and chip shops is the one that's at Clacton Pier where we should have gone really today I wasn't expecting it no I said Clacton didn't black not black oh my font yeah fondest childhood memories is uh Blackpool Illuminations and then stopping at the chip stopping at the chippy on the way home <laughs> on, the on the coach yeah um but yeah it was all right I just don't I don't know how you can rate a fish and chip shop and you know, it's, it's just the same stuff, isn't it? Really, it's just, a fish is a fish, a potato is a potato, frying's frying. It's just, it's all the same sort of stuff. It's just nice when you actually have a nice one. Like her fish, the cod, wasn't very good at all. It was quite thin, very greasy. Didn't really taste of anything. Anyway, we're walking back down to the seafront now. I just wanted to show you this here. This is brand new since we were here last time. I think they were building that apartment block there when we were here last time which was three years ago we came in Martin and Charlotte I'm sure there was one of our tower cranes on there building that and um, this looks pretty brand new as well it's the what's it called what's it called splash point yeah it's a really nice water park so we've got a walk down here and uh, have a look down the front there's like a little splash park over there as well but yeah, it's uh, very hot and humid today. Whew, makes a change, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. Hopefully it starts to get cooler anyway. But yeah, this is a quite a nice looking uh, building really. It's a big pool in there. It looks like there's a dive, yeah, dive boards in there. Can't see any slides. I think it's just a, really just a swimming pool and some dive boards on that other end there. Big area for walking your dogs, here she is. Hello. She's got a hat on today. It's really funny that watching people... Reaction. Yeah, coming up and I've got my little 
a little selfie stick which I've never used. <laughs> I've got that many I've got that many GoPro accessories. I've never I've never used half of them. But yeah, it's the little GoPro handle that you can extend in a tripod. And you can sort of tilt that. I don't know whether to buy a new GoPro to be honest. Yeah, she's such a good dog, she really is. You know, we just let her off the lead now. I mean, she's not run away, she's not, you know, bothering anyone. She's likes a little sniff and, yeah. Oh, we can have your barbecue here. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. That was a terrible Australian accent, wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, it's lovely. Look at that building there behind me. That one, just there. That's really smart. It's lovely. Oh, there's another barbecue just there behind me. But yeah, she's such a good little dog. She really is. It's just a shame we can't take her on the beach. I mean, like I said, it's not much of a beach anyway. It's all pebbles. Come on. It's really cool, you can see Brighton in the distance over there, you can see the uh, British Airways Tower. I don't actually know if it's there, I don't even know if I'm pointing because I'm holding my GoPro down, I don't know if it's there or there, I can see another tower in the distance but I'm pretty sure it's this one just there in front of me, I'll zoom in on the edit so you can see it, but I still need to do that. We haven't actually been to Brighton for a while actually and you got this gallery just here as well all that homemade handcrafts and all that sort of stuff yeah it's really nice here actually but it's like i said about the beach so it's um it's all it's all pebbles so even if tilly was allowed on there we probably wouldn't take her on there anyway really she's not really keen on pebble beaches ambient music That was a DJ. Got the banging tunes on. Oh, the smell Joss sticks as well coming out of there. It's like a hippie place. Oh, I can hear her. <laughs> yeah, it's nice there. Oh, you reckon? Oh right, we're back here already. Yeah, before we ended up walking down there through Denton Gardens and then down the down the Shut up you <laughs> in the dog there. Oh it's lovely round here, isn't it? I nearly went then. <laughs> I nearly went then. It's quite, it's quite steep here. I've got bloody stones in my shoe now. Oh, there's a bit. There's a bit of sand here. Not much. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Look at that silhouette of the guy fishing just here. And you got the pier, Worthing Pier in the background. You got people kite surfing as well. Oh, beautiful. A Brighton over there in the distance. Yeah, there's a woman here breaking the law. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Yeah, like, he's got to come and tell you off for having your dog on the beach anyway. Come on, like, you know. But we've only got a few more weeks to go until we're allowed. It's ridiculous, isn't it? I know I keep going on about it, but... <laughs> he's got to bother you.
Yeah, so it's actually really nice here having a walk around and uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, start doing some different style vlogging. Uh, I'm not like I'll probably get more uh, subscribers for it or anything, but yeah, it, 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 there's a lot of vloggers out there that are very inspirational for me at the moment. And um, yeah, some, some people doing some great content. And it's just nice to do something that's a bit different. I mean, I've, we've always done stuff like this, days out, you know, like the museums, attractions, anything really. That's a bit different. She's just to the side of me taking some really nice pictures of Tilly. But uh, yeah, let's uh, carry on with the walk. Right, we're now on um, Worthing Pier. I actually forgot where we were then for a second. <laughs> Worthing Pier. Um, yeah, I just wish people would learn to read signs and stuff. Because there's a Chinese couple back there with a dog on the beach. And then they come off the beach and the, their dog had a go at Tilly. So uh, we're not quite happy about that. Never mind. <laughs> Things like that happen. Beautiful here. Really, really nice. There's some amusements on here as well. But yeah, here's your uh, restrictions. Dogs are allowed. Which is uh, quite rare because there's not that many piers that allow dogs. We've got Brighton Pier just up the road there with the rides on. We would go there, but can't take the dogs on there. Oh, it's lovely here, isn't it? I remember coming on here because we've got all these stained glass windows in here, so obviously where the sun comes down. Oh, they're on the other side, yeah, you got a Lancaster bomber and a Vulcan there. Wow. Oh, it is this side because you can, you can read it from this side, yeah, you got a Vulcan and a Lancaster bomber there. The dogs. Yeah, it's all to do with uh, that bomber squadron, Royal Air Force. Yeah, MOD, or MOD. Talking about our generation. I don't know if it's to do with the scooter mods or the MOD of the like the RAF, but it is MOD. Talking about our generation. Oh, the tower crane. <laughs> Pearson. That's a yellow tower crane. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. So if you go on the other side, obviously you can't see him. Yeah, the cap's gone on. <laughs> I was getting a bit of a uh, hair fluttering. <laughs> but yeah, when I pointed out earlier that the um, British Airways Skyview deck tower was the one that I might have zoomed in and on the edit, which I might not bother doing now because it's not it's a power station. The one, um, the British Airways Tower, is a bit further down the coast of Brighton. Yeah, <laughs> should bring some binoculars with me. Well, yeah, I've got the amusement arcade in here, and dogs are allowed in here. Ooh, sonic earrings. Right, so we're out of the arcade now, and uh, yeah, not bad for a tenner. <laughs> she spent about a tenner on. Uh, you, you did? <laughs> Seven. Seven. I put three pound in the machine, and yeah, and, and didn't do very well at all. But yeah, we'll walk down here, um, perch, perch on the pier, and then we've got to walk back through the town to the car park to go home because we put like four hours on the car park. Oh, I love like the afternoon sort of times coming out when the sun's setting and you get views like that. Lovely. Right, I've got to turn you off. I've got to eat my uh, refreshers on my uh, Haribo. <laughs> yeah, so you've got the perch on the pier just here as well. I think there's the top section is called the turn because there's a these, what it says there, the arrow. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a nice pier, actually. 
I thought we'd just walk around this section here and then head back to the car park. It's lovely, isn't it? Like people are here. People are fishing here as well. Put me a rubbish in the bin. So it reminds me of the restaurant that we went to in, oh, what was it called? Hunstanton Beach was it in California. Huntington Beach, Huntington Beach in California and there was like a pier just like this actually it reminds me of, of that place in California and there was a restaurant just like this right at the end of the pier and I had a beautiful clam chowder and it was all traditional yeah and she's going the other way I'll walk this way then I've got my cap on I'm all right yeah and it was dead traditional and people were dressed up in like the 60s style um, waitress uniforms, it was really cool. This looks really nice inside here actually. It's great with the reflection through the windows on the other side as well. The reflection of the water. Yeah, really nice. New channel name. Pier crazy, <laughs> just visit different piers around the UK and say, say that. We've been this, to this one before anyway, and um, there isn't many that we haven't done. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, yeah. Brighton in the distance over there looks looks lovely. I think actually Martin and Charlotte went there today, but I didn't I didn't know they were going until I looked on Instagram. But uh, I didn't really have anything planned today really. I mean, just because I was at Alton Towers yesterday. It wasn't fair leaving the the missus and the dog at home. Um, so she's like, you better take me somewhere decent tomorrow. And the only thing I could think of is seaside slot machines. Um, so yeah, and obviously the pie and mash shop, which looked like a bit of a dump to be honest. Like we walked, a lot, it did say it was open. The times on the door, it said it was going to be open. So I actually opened the door and it was open, but there's no one in the shop. And there was a, like a coffee mug with like moldy coffee in it, like. And a drinks, well in fact it was a Monster Energy drink, a drinks cabinet with nothing in it. So we thought well we'll go and have fish and chips instead somewhere. So this is the back of the front of the pier, if that makes sense. Obviously there's the pier. This is back onto the beach. This is like the pavilion or whatever they call it. Um, yeah, it looks really old. Uh, old Art Deco sort of style. I don't actually think there's that much more for us to see here in Worthing, but it's a really nice place. It's just a shame that the beach isn't the best. 
I mean, there's people sat on it. In fact, there's someone out there swimming. I saw, saw earlier. Oh, there's like a proper dance hall in there. Yeah, vlogs coming up in the future. Going back to Dubai in a couple of weeks. Can't wait for that. Um, and I've actually got a few days in between, like coming back and going back to work. So I might go to another park in the UK. I'll just show you the front of this while I'm here. There isn't that like, much more to see in where there's a building down there, but I don't know what it is. Public toilets if you need them here. Yeah, and there's um, a theatre. Oh, the theatre's here, but there's another one just down that road there. That's where the uh, fish and chip shop. We did look at this one. This was the uh, second best rated, the Arcade's Fish Restaurant, just there. But yeah, looks all right. It's old. So on the way back to the car, I thought I'd walk through the Royal Arcade. It's actually really nice in here. Got a few shops in here that are still open. Burger, Burger Me, Gourmet Burger Place. Oh, custom tattoo place here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's not the biggest shopping arcade. But well, it's here if you want to have a look. There's a Cafe Nero just at the end. There's some shops and stuff down here. But yeah, that's it for us really. Um, like I said, we're just... We're, Oh, there's a vape shop there. No, I'm all right, really. Um, yeah, we've got to walk back to the car. It's literally just down this road here now. Uh, I don't think there's much else to show you on the route. <laughs> Parking at the there's a homeless person having a sleep over there. Like these old buildings here, it's the old Debenhams. It's a shame, isn't it? You got these old art deco buildings like this i mean the whole building's pretty big to be honest old debenhams it's all you know all boarded up and broken windows and yeah it's a bit of a mess really and the homeless person over there having a kip yeah that's england for you <laughs> and the starbucks as well that's closed now so i can't even get a coffee now but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to uh comment like and subscribe on the side there Don't forget to hit the notification bell if you've enjoyed the video. Give the video a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I don't, there's probably not much else to show you. I mean, there isn't really much, as in, as in, well, I don't think there's really any attractions here other than the pier. But we've had a good sort of few hours here. We walked down a bit and had some fish and chips, or chips and curry sauce at the uh, at Worthing's top rated fish and chip shop. That's debatable. We should have gone to the one at the front there, actually. We just walked past it. It looked really nice with people sat inside eating. Um, but yeah, <laughs> a chip shop's a chip shop, isn't it, at the end of the day? Oh, they got this sushi place here, actually. This looks really cool. Look at the theming on it. Oh, like that. It's like the back end of a, a ship. I do love my sushi. Oh, it looks pretty cool in there. Oh yeah, there you go. An afternoon in Worthing, visiting the top rated fish and chip shop. I don't know if I might put that on the channel. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.